Okay, some things are difficult to print because they are, they're going to have lots of supports. And I want to show you a way to eliminate the idea of using supports by splitting something in half. So we're going to take a cube here and we're going to make it, let's see, the tight, let's make it five, five millimeters. And let's make this side front five millimeters. And then we're going to make the length about 40 millimeters. And I'm going to um, click the object here. And I'm going to tap the um, F button. That's going to focus on it and get closer. There we go. Let's back out just a little bit. Let's get rid of this. We don't need that. All right. And, well, well, let's see. I want to round the edges just a little bit. Clean up those. Oh. So you can see that I'm turning the radius here. And that's going to round those edges just a little bit. Let's say to about um, a radius of about five. I'm going to click in five here. Okay. Nice, nice. Okay. So I'm going to turn this around about 30 degrees. So we're going to do a rotation of 30. Oh, no, no, sorry. I'm going to duplicate first. Okay, let me duplicate this first, and then I'll turn the duplication around 30 degrees. So it's duplicated. And now we'll go here and turn the duplication around 30 degrees. So we'll put in 30, and duplication is turned around 30 degrees. And we're going to um, repeat that duplication until we get a nice even. There we go. Even if you do the duplication one more time, you won't, you can't tell because the next duplication of 30 degrees is going to land on another piece. See, it landed right here, so you can't tell that you're that you use another piece. Okay, that looks really good. Now, let's group all this together. So let's select everything by using a big rectangle, and then we're going to group. So we'll go to group here, and you notice it says Control G plus G. That means that on the keyboard, if you hold down the control button and tap the G button, you'll get grouping. So um, let's group this time just using this guy right here. There we go. It's all one piece. Now, we're going to do um, another rotation. Um, this time um, kind of in the X, Y direction. So let's go duplicate. And we're going to do a rotation with this guy right here. And let's give it 30 degrees. And there it is. And then we're going to continue that duplication. And just one more. OK. So nice little figure here. All right. Let's select everything again. And we're going to group this make it all one piece. Group. OK. In fact, I could have did the uh, control G. Now you notice that the piece is underneath. So we're going to um, have this piece automatically lift up from there. So click the object and we're going to click the button called D, the D key, and then we'll put it right on top. There we go. Again, this will print very poorly because these pieces will need um, supports. And you'll have to break up all those supports from here to here. So we're going to cut this guy in half. And I think I want to cut him in half, uh, not going this way, but maybe going that way. Hmm. OK. So I'll show you how to cut this piece in half. Um, we're going to need to duplicate this. So select him, duplicate. And I'm going to pull the duplication out using my arrow button my down arrow. So there's the duplicated piece. And my, um, it's coming out. There it is. So those are two pieces. Uh, let's line them up. Come on out of there. OK. And do I have them lined up correctly? I want to line them up, so I'm going to highlight them and go to my alignment. And 
let's align them up here. Yeah. All right, so they're nice and aligned. Okay, now I want to find out what the length is. The length for this is 40 from here to here. That's good. So length of 40. So let's take a um, piece here. Okay, this little cube here. I'll make it nice and long. And then let's go here. I want, I want it to be taller. So let's grab this right here. Make it, make it a little taller. There we go. Now the important thing is that this right here needs to be half of this. If this is 20, sorry, if this is 40, the width here needs to be 20. And it is 20, so this is good. So we got a nice 20 there. together and I want to align them so that this is on the first half so let's press this first part right here so it's on half of that Ooh. let me move it over a little bit there we go okay nice and this one I want to put align them together on the bottom half so hit the alignment and let's hit the bottom right here they're together and then let's line them up here. Okay. There we go. So now let's group this together. Group. Now cut it in half. Now let's a little buggy right now. Let's try that one more time. Okay, select. There we go. It's we were still working on it. Okay, this is going to select all these and we're going to group that, and that should give us the bottom half. Yeah, I'm still waiting. <laughs> it's still processing it. There we go. All right, so we got top and bottom half now. Okay, let's go down here and move these a little closer. All right, so we want to print these, and then after we print these, we can glue them together. So I got, I want to make this flat. So we're going to do a little rotation here. Uh, I need to go this way. So I think that's a thirty degrees. No, sorry, that's ninety degrees. Let's go ninety degrees on the rotation. There we go. Good. And this one I need to go at negative 90 degrees on this rotation here. So negative 90. We'll take the other way. Okay. And they're both ready. They're both floating. That's not good. So we're going to click this one and hit the letter D for down to the graph. And we're going to click this one, hit letter D. And now they're both ready to be printed. So we have duplicated, we have split, and we're ready to print these two. And then we'll